what we're going to be going over here is variance analysis and we'll just look at the basics here on how we'd be setting up these different variances and when we're talking about variance analysis this is where you're going to be dealing with uh, inputs here as material labor and overhead and as outputs you're going to have some sales revenues contribution margins and operating income and you're going to have variances between those inputs and outputs here Okay, so what you have to do here at variance analysis, this is where you're really comparing your actual results for the period here versus the budgeted performance that you've set up for the period. So the first thing you have to do uh, is you're going to have to set up some static budget amount or some standard amount here and that you would do at the beginning of the period and that's simply taking some budgeted quantity of input here times some budgeted price. So that's going to give you your standard amount or your static budgeted amount for your different inputs. Okay, so uh, you've done that at the beginning of the period. Now at the end of the period, now this is when you know your actual results here. So that would, you would know the actual quantity inputs you had times the actual prices. That gives you your actual results. So now you know at the end of the period your actual amounts here. You've been beginning of the period, you know your static amounts or your standard amounts here. Now you can determine the flexible amount here or what they call the flexible budget here. So with the flexible budget you would this is you just take your actual quantities here from your actual results and you take it times the budgeted price. Okay so actual quantity times some budgeted price is going to give you your flexible budget. So now we can do our variance analysis between our actual our flexible and our static amounts. So what you're going to really have here with these three different amounts or budgeted amounts here, you're going to have some quantity inputs, you're going to have some price inputs or cost inputs, and based on your quantity and price inputs or costs here, you can determine the different amounts. So we're just looking at, at the uh, general procedure here. So what we would do here, and I got everything color coded here, A, anything in A here, or AQ here is for the actual quantity, BQ here is the budgeted quantity, that's in blue, AQ here is in green, BP here is in red, and AP here is in sort of bluish black. Okay, so uh, that I've got it color coded here so you can see what's going on. So for our quantities, of course, our actual quantity here, AQ, flexible budget takes the actual quantity here, and the static budget takes the budgeted quantity. Now the price here, actual quantity, again, actual price, flexible takes the budgeted price here from the static budget takes from the uh, static budget here. So flexible budget here is taking our actual quantity here from our actual results and uh, the budgeted price here from the flexible budget is coming from the static budget. So now we can determine our amount. So for our actual amount here, it's just taking our actual quantity here times the actual price. And then for our flexible budget, we're just taking our actual quantity here times the budgeted price. And then for a static budget, again, just taking our budgeted quantity times some budgeted price. So now this is where our general variances come into play. What we want to do is just make a comparison here again between our actual, actual flexible and static amounts. So when we're talking about price or rate variances here, that's really between your actual and flexible budgets here. And you're going to see here because when you're talking price or rate, that's based on the different, you can, first off, let's look at how we'd factor this out. So you take your amount here and be, you'd be comparing your actual amount here versus your flexible amount here. So just looking at your simple equation here, you can factor out the AQ or the actual quantity here in green. You can fact that, factor that out here. So what you're looking at really the difference is the actual price here, uh, comparing your actual price here with your budgeted price here. So that's between your actual and flexible budget. And they call it a rate or price a price or rate variance here because you're dealing with prices or different rates here. So the actual price, difference between your actual price and your budgeted price times the actual quantity. And you can see we factored that out here from our different amounts. Okay, so that takes care of our price or cost difference here. So that's always going to be a price or rate or cost difference here. The difference between the actual and flexible amounts here. Now for our quantity volume variances here, this is the case where you're going to be looking at your flexible versus your static budget. So what you're talking about for our flexible budget, you can see we had the actual quantity times some budgeted price, and then we had the budgeted quantity times some budgeted price here. So you can factor out your budgeted price here from that set up that difference. So what you would do here, you're just taking your actual quantity 
and comparing it or so the difference between your actual quantity and your budgeted quantity and that difference times the budgeted price. You're just factoring out that budgeted price here from your flexible and static budget. So th when you're talking about the actual quantity, difference between the actual quantity and budget quantity, you're really talking about either, either call it a volume, efficiency, or some quantity difference here. So that the quantity difference, that volume efficiency is between the flexible and your static budget. And you can see just how we factored those out here. So rate, price rate and uh, variances here are between the, based on the price or some rate here between the actual and flexible amount. And then quantity volume variances or what they call efficiency variances are based on the diff a difference between your quantities here, the actual quantity versus your budgeted quantity here in your flexible and static amounts. Okay, so that's the general procedure that we'd be using here. And just a note here in our color coding, the green AQ standard for our actual quantity, BQ here in blue standard for our budgeted quantity, and AP here in sort of black standard for our actual price, and BP here in red standard for our budgeted price. And then when we we're talking about those inputs for the, our variances would be like material labor and overhead and our outputs would have been our sales our revenues contribution margins and operating income and so forth when we did our different variance analysis here okay so this is just the general procedure here and just to make a note here when we we did this factoring we had set up our different amounts here some actual quantity times or some quantity here times some price and uh, the difference between those quantities and prices here, uh, the, the price came in, the difference between your actual and flexible amount here for those price or rate differences, and then those quantity or volume differences and also efficiency differences came between your flexible and static amounts. And you can see how we factored those out of the equation. Okay, so that's pretty much how you handle these uh, variance analysis here. And you'd have to go through that here for different materials, labor, overheads, and you can look at it in terms of sales, revenues, and so forth.